Good morning, Paul. It's Thursday morning ahead of the Infernal game tomorrow night. And it's 48 hours almost since he uh, played against Partick Thistle with a different shape and a, a few different um, players playing. We spoke after that game. How are your reflections of it now? Yeah, after uh, um, I've analysed the game, I think we did a good job. I think it was one of our better performances in, in, in the recent weeks. Um, I think that uh, against a good Partick Thistle, we had a good defensive shape. Although I think that we have some chances, but we need to create more. Um, yeah, but the main thing is quite obvious is that we need to defend better and set pieces. Is that hours and hours in the training ground from, from Tuesday till now? or how do you, how do you uh, It's a combination that? of make them aware, make sure that you have the right people on the right uh, per, uh, persons of the opponent, train on it as well. So it's a combination of these things, yes. There's no hiding from the fact that the, the club has been on a disappointing run since August. How do you keep yourself positive? How do you keep the players positive? Um, the mostly is because of also from the players itself on the training ground, if you work with them. Uh, and also if you see now in the last last weeks that we stay for the whole game, we stay the, uh, in the game as well. So I think that, that that's something that brings energy and you hope that it, once it, yeah, it will go the other side. Um, yeah, that, that's the most important thing for us now. That if you see that how if hard work at the end that will result in something, um, and we need to make sure that we do the right things right. So only working hard is not enough. So that's something that we did with the shape. We changed that. We need to make sure that we are spot on in that again. Uh, and then together it needs to result in games. And it this it comes from the staff. It comes from the players. And that together need to make sure that we get three points. One of those improvements was probably the attacking intent on Tuesday. I think we had a shot away within the first 30 seconds from Dom. We certainly created more chances, but you'd still like to see more attacking. Yeah, we need to have more bodies in the box because we had also a good uh, cross from Zach Morgan and there was just one midfielder in the box. Uh, and that's something that we have emphasized on with the midfielders, the fullbacks, the wingers. They need to be all in the box to make sure that we increase the chance that we score. Uh, and I think this year will ensure that we have more bodies there, but also gives us more control defensively. We're coming against a Dunfermline team that we've only faced once this season. Uh, have you looked into their recent form? Uh, yes, but well, they also have looked to our recent form. So, like I said the other week, we, we don't, we can't too much emphasise on the opponent. Uh, we need to know their strengths and their weaknesses. Uh, we need to uh, create a game plan for that. I think in the recent game against Partick Thistle, the game plan suits the opponent. Although we didn't win, so we need to make sure that um, in set pieces, the game plan there is is, is better than uh, the last week. Paul, wish you the very best of luck. Thank you.